What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these glass bottles in Blender 2.8. We're going to be using the same methods like how we went through in other videos, so as the array modifier and how to make a glass texture or glass shader in Blender 2.8. And I'm also, I wanted to let you guys know that we have an Instagram now. So I think you guys should follow us if y'all want to do that. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, before we begin, make sure you download the latest version of Blender 2.1a. So you can follow along with this tutorial. Okay, first things first, delete your cube. Click an X, Shift A, we're going to go to the circle. Then we're going to go down here to add circle. Then we're going to go to vertices and we're going to add 8 vertices. Sorry about that, 8 vertices. Then we're going to close down this tab. Then we're going to go down here to modifiers. Then we're going to select the subdivision surface modifier. We're going to set the render to 3. Set the viewport to 3. Then we're just going to grab our, our circle up. Then next thing we're going to do is go to edit mode by clicking tab. We're going to hit, I'm just going to E to extrude it down, downwards. Then... Then we're gonna hit S. We're gonna hit S to scale it out a little bit. Then we're gonna hit E X E S. That's just gonna give it, give it a little bit the top a little bit more detail on it. Then we're gonna hit E S again, scale it up, scale it down a little bit. Then we're gonna hit G M E and we're gonna extrude it downwards on the Z axis. Then we're gonna hit. Then we're gonna hit uh, S. No, we're gonna hit Control R first, so we can make a loop cut right here. Then we're gonna hit um, Z. Then we're gonna hit wireframe and so we can just grab this without no problems. Go back to solid viewport. We're gonna ask to scale that out a little bit. Then we're gonna hit E S again to make this this area so we can scale it down so it can be more thickness on there. So it can make like the bottle shape. Hey, sorry about that. I think we need more more room to do that. Anyways, we doing this without a reference photo because this is an easy way to make a bottle. Okay, then we're gonna E and we're gonna extrude it downwards. Then we're gonna go to the bottom here, and we need to close this area off. And to do that, we hit we hit E. We're just gonna hit E once. You don't have to do that. Just click E. Then we're gonna E S. Then we're gonna um, scale that inwards. Then we're gonna Alt M. We're gonna hit Alt M. Now that we're gonna at center. And that's basically just gonna close off that area. Okay. The next thing we need to do is go at the top. Then here, what we basically gonna do is. And select, select the top edge, then we're going to hit ES, then we're going to close this area off a little bit. Then we're going to hit E, then we're going to scale it downwards on the Z axis. Then we're going to hit S, and we're going to bring it up, we're going to um, bring it in a little bit. Then we're going to go down to the bottom and make sure everything is lined up perfectly. We need a tab to go out of edit mode. Then we basically, now what we're going to basically do is set up our scene. We need to scale up. We're going to smooth shade first. Okay, now what we need to do is set up our scene. So, I think first thing we need to do is scale down this bottle. Okay, basically we're just going to add a ray modifier. Then, I think we, yeah, we need to... Add a plane, shift A to add the plane. We're gonna scale this down a little bit. Select our plane, S to scale up. And we're gonna go to tab to go to edit mode. And we're gonna select these two edges and scale it up on the Z axis. And we're gonna tab, select our bottle, bring it down on the Z axis. Then we can go over here and put the count. Like that's amount, the amount of bottles, we're gonna put it seven. Then uh, we're gonna hit shift D, duplicate it on the, uh, and we're gonna duplicate it. Shift D, duplicate it on the Y axis. Then, then we're gonna go down down here. And then this is basically the the material we're using. We're using glass and um no no roughness. We're gonna hit Shift D again because we need to make like the first bottle. Then we're gonna go down the the modifier. We're gonna put the count to the one because this bottle is just gonna be leaning over. It's gonna be leaning over. I decided these are like a lot of bottles. 
So we can hit R, we're gonna rotate it on the X axis. No, on the Y axis, sorry. Then we're gonna select all the bottles and bring it down on the Z axis. So it could be touching the surface. Then we're gonna bring this down on the Z axis also. Then we're gonna change, change this to EV cycles. And we're just gonna see how this looks. The lighting is good. Okay, basically, I changed the lighting to uh, 500. So I think that's good lighting there. You could actually experiment with it, but I just tried none of it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> just joking, guys. Anyways, I, had a, I ran into a couple of problems making this tutorial. Like, I recorded two videos and both of them got distorted and stuff because my computer was acting up. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment below. And um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna try to post more often, more regu regularly, because it's been two months since we last posted. It's actually a long time. But anyways, I'm, we're gonna try to keep keep pushing videos out there, and I'm learning new stuff. And um, make sure you like. Yeah, just like I said, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, peace. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!